Hey, what's happening, guys? This is Tito back with another video, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to flash this. How to flash AOSP ROM based on Android Audio on Redmi Note 3. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, you need to go to this XDA thread which will be listed in the description box below. Go to this thread and click on download from Android file host. Below that, you will see the ROM OS version is listed as 7.x Nougat. Do not worry, it's because XDA developers doesn't support 8.0 there yet. To flash this ROM, you need to have officially unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed. As you can see, I am on Lineage OS right now. Just turn off the phone and boot into TWRP recovery by pressing the volume up and the power button together. Once you are booted into TWRP recovery, go to wipe, then advanced wipe, wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now go back, go to install. Locate the ROM file we have downloaded earlier. Now swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. We don't need to flash any separate G apps as it's included in the ROM file itself. Once done, hit reboot system. Now you will see a message which says no OS installed. Don't worry, just swipe to reboot. Now as we are booted into the ROM, let me set it up. As it's a AOSP ROM, it comes with only 15 preloaded apps. So pretty much stock, no bloatware here. We have white and grey color throughout the whole user interface here. By going into the settings, right away you can see the new minimal layouts here. To see the Android version, we need to go to the settings, then system, then about phone. Here we have a black octopus easter egg. In Android Audio, every time you install APKs from storage, you will see a message like this for security reasons. And the installer animation is new too. Now let's talk what's working and what's not here. Taking pictures, videos are working fine. Fingerprint scanner is working unless you have a good fingerprint scanner. Wi Fi mobile data is working. Torch is working. And here is the sad part. As it happened with Nougat at very first of its custom ROMs releases, Vault-E is not working as of now and Oreo's picture-in-picture -picture feature is not working yet. For more details on bugs, check out the XDA thread. Considering it's the first Oreo-based custom ROM for our beloved Redmi Note 3, 
This ROM is pretty smooth as you can definitely give it a try. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you have any questions, queries or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. If this video helped you out, give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends if you feel like it. Subscribe to the channel if you appreciate my work, it's totally free. And don't forget to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button because when each upcoming video goes live, you will get notified instantly. That's been it. Thank you for watching. This is Tito from KDN Tech. Signing off. You guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye now.